Hey everyone, it's Natalie, also known as Nitty Natty. I thought it would be fun to take you through just a regular day in my life, kind of show you how I'm able to squeeze knitting in here and there throughout the day and what a typical work day looks like for me. So it is just after seven o'clock in the morning and the sun is rising and this is kind of one of my favorite times of the day. I'm about to start making my breakfast before I get to work here in about an hour. So I like to wake up around 6 a.m. and I spend the first like half hour kind of like getting ready for the day. Um, and then I do my morning chores, which is to clean the bathroom, <laughs> clean the bathroom every day and take toaster out. So I just got back in from doing those things and now I'm gonna get started on breakfast. But in the morning is one time where I like to have about 20 minutes or so of knitting. Sometimes I'll be knitting and reading or knitting and listening to a podcast. It just kind of depends on the day today. I think while I'm cooking my breakfast, I am going to listen to, I'm gonna pull up my podcast app. I am going to listen to um, the Perfectionism Project, which is um, something I have been sharing about on the podcast a lot. I am actually taking a paid course coaching thing with Sam Laura Brown, who is the host of the podcast, but the episodes for the podcast are all free. So she's got free content, paid content, and it's been totally life-changing, which is why it's kind of be, gonna kind of be fun to show you today, like how my schedule is and how it's changed and everything. Um, but of course, you know, we're always gonna talk knitting too. <laughs> but we all have regular lives outside of knitting and crochet. So it's good to see how you can kind of, I think, you know, fit things in. Toaster's over here, like basking in the sun laying on a pillow on the couch. <laughs> it's so gorgeous outside in the morning. Watch out because we're about to see the sun. Bam. All right, let's go make some breakfast. bedroom now. This is kind of the space you see me in a lot when I'm recording the podcast. So it is just after 7.30, 7.35 right now. And this is the first time of the day that I get to squeeze some knitting in as long as my I wake up on time and my morning goes well, which doesn't happen every single day. But ideally, I have about 20, 25 minutes to do some knitting in the morning. I try to start my work day at eight o'clock and I like to leave myself about five minutes between like this chill time and work to make the bed, put the shades up in the room. I actually have all the shades down right now. You can see how bright it, it still is because the sun's coming straight through. Um, but I have my breakfast with me. I make, I've been on this kick for a few months, I think. Steel cut oats, I put peanut butter in them, bananas on top, and then cinnamon. On the weekends, I'll switch it over to almond butter and I'll add dark chocolate chips and it will make like a dark chocolate almond. And then I still put the bananas and cinnamon on top. So anyway, I'm gonna be sitting here. Um, I think I'm gonna continue listening to my podcast today because I'm just really into that. But some, again, some days I'll read and knit, um, but I always like to use a simple project for the morning. So I have my hat project here that I am working on. 
Um, I'm making a hat for my husband, Kent, and I've got my Ravelry project pages linked down below, but I will move this guy up. I'm trying to do eight to 10 rounds per day. I haven't been keeping up with that the past couple of days, but today feels like a promising day because I do have lots of opportunities to do a little bit of knitting here and there. So I'm just gonna move the marker up. So now I can start tracking rounds from there. And I'm gonna get about, let's see, it's 7.36. I'll probably set like a um, 20 minute timer, hang out, listen to the podcast, eat, drink my coffee. I got my coffee, coffee water back there, my vitamins. <laughs> this is just a really nice time of the day. And then we'll transition into work by changing the environment a little bit and getting into work mode. day to officially begin. It is a work time. It's 8.04, just about right. <laughs> I don't always get things right on the hour, but that's okay. When you work for yourself, you can mostly tweak things. Um, I'm still finishing up my breakfast. I Sometimes I get a lot more knitting time. Today though, it was like I did like one row, but you know what? It's nice just to get a little bit of knitting in the morning, even that one row kind of just <laughs> makes me feel a little bit better. So I do want to share a lot about um, this whole perfectionism and planning journey that I'm on right now, because I have shared it a lot on the podcast and I want to give more context to it and then just like leave it there. <laughs> if you like are interested in it, you can go for it. If not, you're like, stop talking about it, Natalie. I don't want to hear anymore. Um, but I feel honestly like my life has been changed forever by this concept of power planning, which is in the perfectionism um, course that I'm taking. But the podcast, The Perfectionism Project, is all free. It doesn't give you details on how to do the power planning, and I'm not going to do that either because it's something that is somebody else's like intellectual property, and I paid to get access to it and coaching on it, and it wouldn't really be valuable without that whole aspect of it. But anyway... I do want to share a few tips that I've learned. So I'm just looking, I open up my phone and I have my calendar for today. I've got everything work-wise scheduled out. I don't plan on every single hour of my day, just all the hours that I'm working. And it is so awesome. I used to have a to-do list that worked pretty well, but I never knew how long things were going to take me. And I still don't, but I'm getting better at it because 
Let's say for example, I record a podcast every single week. And I, if you asked me how long that took, I would have said like an hour because the podcast is often an hour, but it doesn't actually take an hour. It usually takes me like two hours, sometimes more because I need, I, I'm learning this about myself. As I put it in the calendar and like the first week I gave myself extra time, I think I gave myself an hour and a half and that wasn't enough. The next week when I planned, I was like, okay, Maybe I need two hours for the um, podcast. Did I just say weeks? I feel like I said a week, but anyway, maybe I need two hours for the podcast. Maybe I need two and a half. And I'm learning about myself and my own schedule, what I need to do and how long it takes me. So like for the podcast now, I plan, or this past week and it worked really well, so I'm planning to do it again next week as I plan 30 minutes to actually make notes on the podcast. That's that's when I like put everything in, make sure I'm not gonna forget anything. And then I had two hours for the actual recording. And it's not just the recording, it's setting up, it's breaking everything down. Um, Kent edits my podcast now, so I have to like send him notes. So it really does take that time. And me like just putting it on my to-do list and lying to myself about how long it's going to take doesn't make it take any less time. So I'd rather have all that time blocked out on my calendar to get the job done right. And then I know exactly what else I can do with my day. Anyway, this has been working so great and I love it so much that I can't stop sharing about it. And so I'm just kind of looking at what my day is today. So I always start out with an hour of time in the morning that I call zero inbox. This is just me. I really like to answer all of my emails at the beginning of the day. I know this doesn't work for everybody, but I, I get into, I do my personal emails, I do my personal budget, I do my business budget every single day, no matter what. Then I go into my nitty natty inbox and I start at the um, oldest message and I answer as many emails as I can. Sometimes I don't get through all of them in this hour. Then I go to my membership, my discord, and I try to answer as many messages as I can there. If I do this every day, I, it does, it can take me an hour, but basically I give myself an hour and then I say, okay, that's enough. If I need to really answer something, I can go back in and do it later on. Um, but I've got some um, editing to do today for, I'm doing a free video series as part of my sock course that's coming up. So I'm gonna be editing that. I have lots of events today at noon. We're doing a Sweetheart Socks Live. So that's gonna be fun. I've got two private lessons today. And I also have an event tonight within the membership, but it's a casual one. It's just a knit night with my insider group, which is a smaller group. So I don't need to do any preparing for that. So it's going to be a busy day. I thought this would be an interesting day because I'm doing kind of like all of the different aspects of business today. So I thought that would be really, really fun. Um, the other thing I've been doing a lot is um, that I haven't done in a while is journaling. So after I do my zero inbox time, I'm going to spend about 15 minutes kind of like doing a thought download of the day. I'm kind of, you know, dealing with a lot of emotions and things around um, selling a sock course, which I know sounds weird, but like it's just such a different thing for me. There's some things about it that are uncomfortable, like being salesy and setting a price for a big course. This is a six week long course. So there's a lot of content and that's a higher ticket price. And so there's a lot of like discomfort and things that are coming up for me, even though I know what I'm doing is like valuable and going to help people. It's like, I'm having to work through a lot of that process, um, which is what stopped me, I think, from launching the course earlier last year, like I had planned. Anyway, it's all good stuff and all personal growth, but I just wanted to share some of that. So with that being said, I think it's time I get started here on my emails for the day.
right, we have been moving and grooving this morning. It is 10.45 now, and I've gotten a lot done today. Let's see, I, what did I do? <laughs> I like to go through in my calendar. Let me see if it'll refresh. And anything, I don't think it's gonna show on here. Oh yes, it is, perfect. Anything that I have done, I put a little smiley face in front of it in my calendar and if it takes a different amount of time than I thought it would I like adjust the calendar invite and I use different emojis to show like hey this took less time than I thought more time than I thought and when I go and plan my week I look at the past week and I go okay you know again with the podcast example I'm like okay the podcast I thought would take an hour and a half it actually took two hours let me make sure to schedule two hours for it this next week and it's been working so great this is so nice so everything's been good this morning um got my emails done got my journaling done i scheduled some emails and videos as part of my sock course and i scheduled some instagram posts because that's something else i've really been struggling to keep up with on a daily basis is like remembering to post on instagram and so i'm trying to more like take some time to kind of think about what i want to post for the week gather things and prepare things ahead of time so then I can spend my daily time actually interacting on Instagram and YouTube rather than taking the time to schedule posts. So I'm working on that. Um, I, I've been also trying to put in some buffer time. So you saw me just a minute ago, like sit back down, get my knitting out. And that's because I was talking on the phone with my mom. She likes to call me <laughs> on her way into work. She She's in um, central time and I'm in Eastern time. So she's an hour behind me. So she usually calls me when I'm like already a couple hours into my work day. So I sat down and grabbed my hat really quick, knit like around on that while I chatted with her. And that took about 15 minutes. So I have 30 minutes of buffer time before lunch or before my event today. So I just took 15 minutes of that and moved it and then shifted my next task up by 15 minutes. Um, it's really, it is working out really, really well. So what I have next, I'm going to be editing a short video. I have an hour to do it and it will probably take me close to an hour. So I'm going to get that uploaded here in a second. And then I have about 15 minutes before I will have my sweetheart talk live. I love doing lives on YouTube and Instagram because it's just so fun to chat and talk, but I will definitely need that 15 minutes to kind of prepare for um, questions that people might ask and getting some materials ready, but I will show you my setup then. So I'm gonna get into editing mode. I got my second cup of coffee, finished off my coffee pot, and I am ready to go. All right, my editing for the morning is done and I've got about 10 minutes left until I go live on YouTube. So I am wondering if y'all are also curious about like what happens in the few minutes before somebody goes live on Instagram or YouTube or in a class. And it can be a little bit of like panic and chaos. <laughs> At least it is for me still sometimes, even though I've done this a lot. Um, so I kind of want to show you some of the things I do to prepare. So let me, first of all, I'm going to get less cozy because we're getting into serious mode. So I'm going to take this blanket off of me because I usually do get, um, I get like warmer, right? When I'm like talking live and, you know, kind of heat up. I mean, it's, it's different than just sitting. Hold on. Okay, there we go. It's different than just sitting and recording a podcast because if I say something that is doesn't sound right. Like I can't just fix it. I have to kind of like talk through things and that can be nerve wracking. Um, luckily I have this amazing community that is super caring, understanding, and seems to be like, just they, I feel like a lot, I get a lot of response about like, you know, understanding that I'm a real person, which means I'm going to make mistakes. Not always going to be doing things perfectly or the most professionally and I'm learning as I go. And so I am totally cool with being transparent and sharing that with you. So what I'm doing right now, let me scoot this back here. I am exporting a video, <laughs> but I'm also getting things cleared off. Okay, so 
right here, I have this little webcam that I have like hooked up, all this stuff so that I can like record tutorials later. I'll be doing my lessons and I'll be recording them um, for uh, like live with people. So I'm just gonna make sure that this is clean. Um, before I do my lessons today, I'll probably get like a, an actual cloth and like wipe this down, but I don't know how much I'm really gonna be showing in the tutorial, but I'm gonna get this out of the way. And I've pulled over some of my current whips. I've pulled over my hat project, which I just got to work on for a little bit as I watched through the video that I edited. I'm telling you, you squeeze out, like this was a four minute video, you squeeze out like little bits throughout the day on a simple project. And it just, it's just nice to have little bits of knitting, even if it's not a long block. Like I haven't had even a 30 minute block of knitting yet today, but I have done a few rounds here and there. I have pulled out, um, and again, I'll have all my projects linked. I've pulled this out because it's a color work project and we're talking about the Sweetheart Socks in this live event. So I have this ready in case I need to like show something. I guess that's where the dirty stuff is coming from, I don't know. And then I need to grab, let's see, over here, let me get, let me get the socks. The Sweetheart Socks. I'm not knitting these again as part of the make along because I have spent a month like deep diving into this pattern as it was tested Go over here. Um, and so I am not making another pair as part of the make along, but I am involved in looking and seeing what y'all are making, which is really, really fun. And the details on the Sweetheart Sock Along, I will link below too, but you can participate either by knitting this pattern or by using these yarns. Oops, I got a little end I need to fix there. So I think that's enough to get us started. I've got seven more minutes. I also have to pull up a couple programs here on my computer so that I have everything set up. So why don't I get that ready? and prepared and then I can show you what it looks like. Okay, just got wrapped up from the live. I was gonna show you some things before, but I encountered an issue and needed to use the time before to fix that before I went live. And so now I'm all done, but let me show you a couple things like what it looks like from my perspective. Here's the aftermath. <laughs> so when I'm set up, I'm, I'm sitting right here in my computer chair. I have this amazing desk with the white background that works pretty well. So my little webcam is facing down. If I it's night or I need it, I've got a light here that I can tilt down. I didn't need it today though. It was nice and sunny. And then I've got my laptop computer, which is plugged in like this cord runs down around back to here with the webcam. And I've got this webcam on my Amazon storefront, by the way, which is always linked below. So hi, this is what it looks like for me when I'm streaming. I see this little tiny box, the chat is going on the side, and then what I'm able to do is here, looking closer. So here's me talking, and then I'm able to switch things so that my self goes up here, and then you get on the big screen what is right here. <laughs> and that's really cool, because then I'm able to like teach things live, and then I can just switch back, it's really, really nice. Something else that I always do is I keep, um, this is like replaying right now, but I keep the live over here so that I can see like what are things actually looking like. It's a little bit delayed. It'll be about five seconds behind. And then I can also see the chat here and have control of it. So like this time somebody was doing something like spamming and so I was able to block them. Live events are always so much fun. Like this one I was like getting up and down, pulling different things from like my project bag, from my drawer under here. At one point Toaster wanted to be left in, now he's under his blanket. And before I go live, <laughs> Because I was kind of talking about like what it, what happens in those last three minutes. It's like, ah, getting ready, getting ready. And then I'm like, hey everyone. <laughs> That's really how it is. Um, but I always, one, I go to the bathroom because nothing could be worse than you're like stuck on a live and you have to go to the bathroom. So I go to the bathroom, I check and I like look at my teeth. I'm like, do I have anything in my teeth? Do I have makeup anywhere? Is my hair okay? <laughs> you gotta check these things before you go live because once you're live, you're kind of stuck, you know? It's, it's not great. I also lock the bedroom door because I didn't get the chance to tell Kent, like he knows I had something today, but 
I always try to remind him like in the few minutes before like, hey, I'm about to go live. Do you need to get anything out of the bedroom? Whatever, because if he walked in the door, he would be like on camera. So I just lock it as a reminder to him like, hey, don't come in here because unless you wanna be live on camera, which I don't think he does. Well, it is now 1.20. So my live went, I, I expected it to go a little past an hour. Um, excuse me, but now I have a lunch break. So most days I do a really nice long lunch break, about two hours long. I cook, you know, it takes me about 30 or so minutes to prep my lunch and transition because usually I'm always like a few minutes over on my, my working before I uh, finish up <laughs> like my morning work. And I take toaster out, that takes a little while. Sometimes we go to the dog park. And then that whole last hour I'm like eating lunch and Kent and I like to watch a show together, um, but that doesn't happen every single day. For example, today I knew since I had this live during lunch, I would need to shorten lunch to get everything else that I need to done today. So I'm probably gonna do a really quick lunch. We're probably not gonna sit down and watch a full show, maybe something short on YouTube, but I do find that I need like time to kind of decompress after a live because I, totally love it. It gives me so much energy, but it's also like if I don't kind of like recenter and do something quiet, you know, just to myself for a little bit that I'm, my energy is drained more for the rest of the day. So coming up this afternoon, I have another video to edit. I also have an hour lesson and then a 30 minute lesson. So that's the rest of my afternoon. I try to get most of my work done in the morning when I'm like my brain's in tip top shape. And then today I just happen to have only afternoon lessons. Um, so I'm gonna go take advantage of this break, have some lunch, and then we'll be back here for a few more hours. So I was getting ready for my first lesson. I got all the shades down. I got my, my light up, you can see my camera. I was um, getting things ready and then the appointment time came and it was like a couple minutes past. I'm like, wait, I've had a lesson with this person before. They're norm normally on time. So of course I went and checked my email, which I hadn't checked in like six hours. <laughs> so it had been a while. And I had an email from them. Um, needing to cancel for like very good reasons. And so I was like, oh, no problem at all. Um, anyway, so now I have this hour that I wasn't expecting. So I am going to clean up this lesson. I do have another lesson coming up in another um, hour and 15 minutes. It's just a 30 minute lesson and that's gonna end out my work day, which is gonna be great. So, but you know what? I wanna enjoy the sun while it's here. So I think I'm gonna let the shades back up. Um, get things reorganized and I have a couple things that would be nice to catch up on but what I'm trying to learn sorry if the siren is very loud um, I don't know how it sounds across the camera but what I'm trying to learn is that when I get extra time or when I finish things early not to cram more things into the day um, in the perfectionism course that I'm taking Sam Laura Brown you can listen to the podcast I know I'm talking about it a lot but um, you know, she says that when you 
finish things early or get things done and then you add more to it, you're almost punishing yourself for being efficient and you're telling yourself that it's rare when you feel efficient and on top of things and you need to capitalize on that instead of like celebrating that you were efficient and you got things done and you did a great job and actually taking breaks. So I'm still learning that, which is why I'm thinking I'm going to do a couple things just to catch up and, and, and be, um, in a good spot. And then I'm going to take like another 30 minutes to just take a break. I really didn't get a big lunch break today. I had about 15 minutes to sit down and eat. And for me, that's not enough. Like I remember as a teacher how terrible that was and I love getting my lunch breaks now. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, I'm going to clean up, wrap up a couple things. Everything else has been going great today. So I'm not going to punish myself um, or tell my brain that like, you know, you've been doing good things. You need to cram more in. I'm going to say you're, you've been doing good things. You got an unexpected break. Let's take it and refuel because there's still more day ahead. day is over it is where'd my phone go it is 5 9 p.m i usually end work right around five o'clock and this is when i start the evening portion of the day very scheduled during the week during the weekends i like don't do anything <laughs> but i just want to show you how beautiful it is outside right now uh you know what let me flip around I just finished a lesson, so it's the recording of the lesson is converting. I always record my lessons, so I'm going to send that to the person. But look at outside, so pretty, so gorgeous as the sun sets. Toaster's with me. Hey, Toaster. I have a big mess to clean up. I'm going to do that again while things are converting. We did lots and lots of stuff in our lesson today. It was awesome. So... This is a really busy day. Not every single day is like this. Um, I do work really, really hard from the hours of eight to five, aside from my usual two hour lunch break. Um, but not every day has stuff like live and things like that. Um, but where was I going? I am doing my best to work out daily. Kent and I are actually um, doing a run walk half marathon in a few weeks. And so I need to do my running today. So I have my clothes out so that I wouldn't, <laughs> so that I wouldn't skimp on that. So as soon as I get cleaned up here, again, I have a huge mess to clean up. As soon as I get cleaned up and send the person I just had a lesson with their recording, I am going to run down to the gym and get that done. I also have um, a knit night tonight. So it'll be, I'll go to the gym, shower, I, made dinner last night so we have leftovers tonight because i knew it was going to be a busy day also i already did my cooking duties for the week kent has to cook for thursday and friday so i'm like done with that and also i already took toaster out twice today kent has the rest of the day so i'm kind of in like that downhill slump workout shower eat and then from 8 to 10 tonight is my insider knit night 
which is just a fun and casual event. So I don't have to really lead anything. I just get to chat and talk and knit. So it's gonna be a good chill rest of the day. <laughs> I really don't want to go, but I am going to do it anyway. Toaster. <gasps> Hi. Oh, why are you so loud? Get it for you, geez. Ready? Sit. Hey, sit. 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 Or lay there. <gasps> okay, ready? Catch. Ready? There you go. Watch this, y'all. There you go. <laughs> he always does this little growl. Can I get it? Just got done with our Zoom and I am feeling very sleepy. It is just after 10, 10, 15. And I usually try to go to bed around this time because I do wake up relatively early and I need my sleep. <laughs> I could sleep nine or 10 hours, no problem. But I usually try to get like seven to eight every night. I got quite a bit of knitting done um, on my, I can't get the ribbing to stay down, but on my All Together Now cowl, and it's looking so good. I've just switched into the third color of what I'm using as the main color. I'm fading the main color, and it's looking really pretty. I didn't do a ton on my hat today, but that's totally fine. You know, I did some stitches here and there, so I got a lot of knitting done today for like, you know, fitting it in here and there obviously just sat for two hours and got to knit um while dinner was cooking i just sat and relaxed i listened to my podcast and i also knitted on the cowl which i feel like is something i could 
not have done even a month ago. Like I would have felt like I needed to be doing something else, more work, more chores, more something and um, getting my routine down and working on perfectionism has really helped me to like rest when I can rest. Um, oh, and yeah, when I had the lesson get canceled today, I spent a, a little bit of time knitting, which was so nice. Like, again, I would have never allowed myself to do that. And it was a busy, busy day, but it didn't feel overwhelming because of all the little pockets of time that I got to, you know, appreciate doing a good job and working hard and getting a little bit of knitting in, which is what I like to do when I rest. So I'm probably going to end the day here with, um, some tea. I usually do some tea, some dark chocolate, uh, while we're watching like a show, but since it's so late, I'm just going to do that in bed and like read my book and get sleepy here. So you know what? I think I will say good night. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope it was fun and interesting to see a day in the life. I really enjoyed spending the day with you and I will see you in the next one. Bye.